one of my interior photography video just skyrocketed. So I thought I might do another one. Why not? So if you're new to this channel, consider to subscribe because I'm posting videos about photography, business uh, tips about photography and much more about photography. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Now regarding to my photography gear, I use my Canon EOS R as usually. And this time I used, I think, a 16 to 35, which is not my typical uh, wide lens. I use 35 uh, millimeter and 24, but because I don't have yet a 24 millimeter, I use my 16 to 35, which I just give it to somebody else right now because it's using it uh, on another camera. So I use the 16 to 35 as a wide angle. And then of course my 35 millimeter, 1.4 and my 50 which is my, my favorite lens to shoot editorial when it comes to interiors. Why? Because it's just not too wide and not too close. It's just perfect so you, I can uh, move very fast uh, around the room and I can capture uh, all the shots that I need. Now, the way I start shooting uh, interiors is first on a tripod. Of course, some of you may hate tripod, but I begin to get used to it. So I shoot on a tripod. I use uh, the 1635 uh, around 24 millimeter because I think then it's not too wide and uh, not too close up uh, and it will not distort that much. And in case it does distort that much, then uh, I can uh, straighten in uh, Lightroom. So there is not a problem. Now, after I take multiple shots on different corners of the room, I take my 50 and I do close up or uh, just crops, different crops um, for kind of an editorial look for the magazines. And this will, this will complete the story because first you have an overall look for the interior, for the uh, room or for the house. And then you've got some close up, which when you when you put them all together, it's it gonna create a nice uh, nice editorial story. Now, when it comes to shoot with the 50 millimeter, I shoot it handheld and some of you may think oh, this is not the right way, but this is my way. So I like to shoot handheld. Uh, I'm going to bump up a little bit my ISO between 2000 sometimes and 2500. Uh, I will try to keep it as low as possible, but if it's not possible, then I will get to 2500 
and I will shoot also pretty much wide open between 1.4 and 2.8 just to get that blur background beautiful melted background now you may ask okay but how many photos do you take I usually take like two to three uh, positions uh, on, a, on a set for example if I crop uh, the couch or a chair or something I take two three angles uh, from above from lower and from side view so I can have more variation Now regarding to the light, I use natural light most of the time when I use uh, on a tripod because I use long exposures. But sometimes I might use also flash. When it's uh, too rainy outside like it's here in Netherlands, I might use flashes, put a flash outside. Uh, of course covering uh, the flash so it doesn't get wet and uh, so on. But uh, yes, sometimes I shoot with flashes because I want a certain look. I want some uh, light stripes on the floor or some kind of a fresh look and, and, and the flash uh, sometimes can give me a consistent look. In terms of my camera settings, I keep it very simple. Um, I shoot manual most of the time. I uh, shoot between 100 of a second uh, to uh, uh, how much I need to close out the shutter. But uh, I also shoot from uh, 1.4 until uh, f f8, f10, f16 uh, if necessary. So um, yeah, it depends on the situation. If you shoot a pretty wide scene and uh, you shoot on a tripod, you're gonna shoot a pretty uh, close-up aperture. So uh, yeah, this is how I shoot. Now the way I edit these images, I try to keep it very, very clean and simple. I use Lightroom uh, and I, because I shoot raw, it's uh, very simple to edit uh, in Lightroom. And 
I keep my settings very uh, simple and my editing very clean because uh, when uh, you uh, try to show those images in, uh, in a photo magazine, uh, it needs to look as real as possible. And uh, what I do, I sometimes I increase my contrast to around the 20 to 25 and my blacks to minus uh, 50, minus 20. And of course I do an S curves and uh, some clarity if necessary, of course sharpening around 45 and I don't touch other sliders. And then I adjust all the images in one setting by syncing all and that's it. So shooting interiors is not that hard. It's even easier than shooting weddings. So I even enjoy it even more now because I shoot less and less weddings. I shoot interiors, which I am really, really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, it's very creative and uh, it's very nice when you see them on, on a magazine, when you go to a store and you see all your photos in the magazine. I'm super, super excited. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one.